Final point to deal with the first assumption, which is science cannot prove necessary truths. And this is very interesting. Science can't prove necessary truths, and these necessary truths are required before you do any science. For example, logic, logical reasoning, deductive logic. Number one, all bachelors are unmarried men. Number two, John is a bachelor. Number three, therefore John is a unmarried man. This is what you call a valid deductive argument. It's also sound. A valid deductive argument is where the conclusion necessarily follows from the previous statements or premises. A sound deductive argument if it's valid and also the premises have some form of justification. This is a sound deductive argument. I repeat, number one, all bachelors are unmarried men. Number two, John is a bachelor. Number three, therefore John is an unmarried man. This is a necessary conclusion. Science can't prove these necessary conclusions. Because we know that the conclusion necessarily follows, not because of the meaning of the previous premises, but rather there are logical relations between the logical properties of that deductive argument, of those premises. There is a logical relation between unmarried, John, bachelor and men. There is a logical relation. Science cannot warrant, take into account, justify, explain those logical relations. So there you go. You need this before you do any science. And to claim that science is the only yardstick for truth is extremely problematic because you require necessary, tr necessary truths like deductive arguments or logical relations between logical properties in order for you to even do any science in the first place. So the first assumption, in my humble opinion, is not a valid assumption.